quick update for you all in today's video. I really thought this whole Brendan Schaub situation was finished up, but it turns out his goons are after Kalila and the Tiger Belly team still, so I wanted to make a quick video about it. And to provide some context, here's a quick clip from the Tiger Belly episode featuring Brendan Schaub, where Kalila alludes to Brendan's friend slash assistant slash wingman Mark Harley, who had been sending some DMs online. So let's have a listen. I'm starting to see screenshots on Instagram of DMs of your cute little friend Mark confirming that you wanted to expose me. I went to Mark and said, dude, you're making things way worse for me. Okay. Because he's trying to defend me. I went, you're not defending me. You're making it Got worse, it. giving her fuel and me and her are talking. You don't need to do this. I didn't mention this interaction in my previous videos because it sounded like it was over and that Brendan had talked to Mark and told him to stop making these types of comments. But newsflash, Mark hasn't stopped despite Brendan's wishes. I also went on to defend my friend Brendan in his drama situation in which I believe 100% he's in the right and I will continue to defend him. For reference, Mark is the host of the Haters Will Say podcast, which is actually a subsidy of Thick Boy Studios, so he is kind of suckled up to Brendan here, and he definitely has monetary incentive to defend Brendan, and in one podcast, he went on to basically say that Brian and Brendan didn't actually bully Bobby Lee and Kalila, and that they only apologized for wrongly saying that they were involved, but they didn't apologize for bullying at all, which is obviously silly, and in the comments section, he got ratioed in that video, which really isn't surprising because he even went as far as to say that Kalila is a narcissist and a psychopath, even though to me personally viewing his podcast, he really gives off way more narcissistic vibes. But that's just my opinion. Everyone can have their opinion. That's cool. But what isn't cool is making comments about mental health issues, which you can see on the screen here. I'm not going to say what he said, but kind of goes to show the level of maturity that he has making these types of jokes. And in his latest podcast episode, he got ratioed even further further in his own comments section. I'll scroll through some of the comments here because I found it hilarious that on the Thick Boy Studios YouTube channel where Mark is the host of a podcast, he's getting ratioed on his own platform. That's something you don't see very often. I mean, you do see it sometimes, but not all the time. And for me, I was definitely laughing at how bad the ratio truly was. But I think I've covered everything that I wanted to in this video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And if there are any more updates on this story, as as always, I will keep you posted, and if you're a bit out of the loop, definitely go check out my playlist where I've been covering this entire situation. But that's going to be it for me today, everybody, so take it easy. Peace.